Hey guys, it's Tony here at Gayfield Blog, bringing you another video, and today I have the 1987 seminal classic Street Fighter, the game that started the Street Fighter series, if you didn't know already. It's kind of obvious because it hasn't got a number behind the name. Um, so this is on the PlayStation 2 Capcom uh, collection uh, that I'm playing it. I was going to bring you the second part in the Three Wonders playthrough, but for some reason uh, it's really, really laggy. Um, you know, sometimes if you put play something like a PlayStation 2 on a, um, I'm playing it on a HD Plasma, and it's the action's like taking place about a second or two behind. And considering it's a shoot 'em up, the the part the part two is, um, it's just not conducive to getting good gameplay. I just end up dying all the time. So I have got another CRT on the way. So I'm going to hold off on that series until I've got something that's going to be um, a until I can bring it to you and I can actually play it properly and you can see the game in action rather than just seeing me dying every two seconds. So I was just looking at what else was included on this disc. Uh, I was playing a bit of Tiger Road which is bloody hard uh, and then I saw Street Fighter and I thought oh my god you know what I've got to do this because um, some of you might, I'm, I'm sure you have, but some of you might not have actually seen this game in any kind of depth or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to jump in and give it a go and see uh, where I can get with good old uh, Ryu. So we're just going to jump, we're going to start in Japan. It's always a good place to start. Uh, so let's just jump straight in. Yeah, man. Retsu with his massive eyebrows, first of all. So the moves are pretty much exactly the same as uh, Street Fighter and Street Fighter 2. Oh, did he block that Dragon Ball punch then? Um, but it's a little bit more bouncy. I don't if, if unless you oh check that. I love the way it goes in slow motion when you hit him with the fireball. Um, now there were a couple of variant arcade games of the original Street Fighter. There was one with six buttons and a joystick. Uh, which is the one that most people will be familiar with, but they also released one with massive hit pads on it that you can actually physically... I mean, this is Kinect in 1987, really. You were the controller. Um, they had hit pads that you could uh, punch just to pull out all the moves and everything. It was, it was pretty shit. It was pretty un un unwieldy. You couldn't really get a proper game. Um, and it's just so hard to get the moves off. You know, like Dragon Punch is like forward and then down, up, down towards, and then forward and then your punch button. You just end up wiggling in this. And why am I? I should have killed him ages ago. Well, yes. So the moves are the same: it's quarter circle backwards and kick for the the spinning hurricane kick. Dragon Punch is the same, Fireball is the same, but for some reason you can't pull them out every time you want to use them. You have to spam the motion uh, and then let them get out. I can remember loving these, the, the, the art style to this game. It was like real, real manga back in the day. I've got to ditch this guy really quickly because he was going to get his throwing stars out. Yeah. I tell you, the, the Fireball, the special moves are beastly in this. I mean, like a fireball can essentially take down half your bloody energy bar if you're hitting with it right. I'm sure it seems to me if you hit them while they're in the air with a fireball, it takes a lot more uh, energy down than it does if you just do it on um, on the ground. Oh, hate it when he disappears. Oh. One perfect, yes. With him, yeah, you've just got to get him out. Of the, if if he jumps back, and he starts spamming you with throwing stars, um, I don't think you can block him. I think you can you can punch the throwing stars. All over the world. First bonus stage. I never really got the hang of how to bloody do that. Thousand points anyway. But the visuals are a lot more cartoony than than what they did with uh, 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 Street Fighter 2, especially in the the bonus stages and the the character profiles there. Joe's a bit of a badass, so we need to take him down. In that Donnie Yen style kick. Oh, two dragon punches in his down. <laughs> uh, 
This is, of course, the only other uh, street character you can play as is, is play as is Ken. So when you you, you join in as a two-player challenger, player two is uh, dons dons the role of Ken. It's pretty much the same as Ryu, just a pallet swap, I think. Oh, sugar! Screw you, Joe. Need to get some. Oh, need to get some specials out. I'm gonna stop pissing about now. Got big Mike after this. Can't. Look at that. that. That was crazy. Did you see how much that first dragon took down? It must have been three quarters of his energy bar. Uh. So yeah, so um, it's still, you, you know, it, it, Capcom essentially just took this game and just ramped it up with the characters and uh, and the the, the, the the sounds and the move, made it a lot more smoother. It's pretty much the same kind of gubbins, if you like. You're still going around the world. Come on. There's a skank here. I don't know if I should do it. What we used to do there, as soon as you get... Because Mike's a beast. So what we used to do in the arcades... Oh, see what I mean? It's it's the same back at you. I'll I'll show you just for the sake of just for the sake of showing it. It's pretty it's pretty crap. What we used to do in the arcades because obviously we used to have a uh, limited amount of money when we were young kids. We used to jump right back in the corner. So you've got to get his energy down a little bit and then just block. And he'll come up and just spam punch you. But it doesn't take your um, uh, energy down. So this was, rather than risk a credit and die and end up having to put more money in, we just worked out this spam. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm just going to stay here. <laughs> but, yeah, but yeah, we so I can still remember all these little, um, these little skanks we got. Just all these little, little cheats in arcade games just to make your pocket money go that little bit further. I will take him on properly this next round. I'm not going to be a gigantic fanny all the way through this game. I just wanted to show you this little bit, um, just because I was... I want to see if it still works, to be honest. Anyway, a lot of weather we've been having recently. Come on. Of course, I wouldn't have ever done that if the um, if there was the chip damage. But there isn't, so I did. Mike's going to come back with a vengeance now. Right, we need to get a couple of couple of dragons off. Come on. Come on. Right, so, look, I mean, that's... Oh! Oh, Mike! Michael! Oh, you pisshead! See, that's what I get for being a dirty... Coward. <laughs> right, we're going to come back. We're going to continue. We can't. We can't leave the fight there. My old uh, credits. Come on. I did get the score before before that. The e e e. But um. Come on then, Mike. Come on, Mike. I'll take you on now, Mike. I don't even know what he says there. I'm assuming it's something viable. What the? What the? It definitely says Dragon Punch. Mike, you're not going to be. You, come on. See, this is why we used to use that blocking cheat. Fuck you, Mike. Come on. Oh. It'd be a different story if you didn't have to spam the bloody controls. If it, if you could actually play skillfully on it. Come on. Can't be asked to piss about you again, Mike. Come on, I just need to. 
Oh, you fucker. <laughs> <Durand before. laughs> Mike, I'm gonna absolutely batter you in your mad grey afro. This time, Mike, come on. I'm getting a sore thumb now from spamming this bloody controller. There you go. Right. Oh, I could do with one of those dragons, man. They'll, they'll take him right now. Oh, Mike. Jump onto the end of my fist, Mike. Oh, big punch to the chops. <sighs> Ryan must have dyed his hair because he's a ginger in this. But there's something about the art style to these old Capcom games, you know, with the thick, the thick black outlines to them all and things like that. You gotta, gotta love them. Oh, come on, I just wanted one connection with that. Oh, mushed you up, Mike, in the corner. I can't even remember the last time I really played this. It must have been, but it must have been a few years ago. I seem to remember having it on the PSP, whether it was on another Capcom collection thing there. Wow. I quite like that bonus stage. It still doesn't top the car though, does it? China. Oh no, if this is Lee, we're in for, we're in for trouble. Oh shit. This guy's a badass. I need to get stuck in sharpish. See that dragon punch that I did, that it did. I think it hit him, I think it took energy off, but it just didn't seem to, um, it just seemed to soak it up. Is that hard? Is that tough? Is that mean? Alright, he's gonna come at me now. Two fireballs, come on. Imagine that, if that was in Ultra Super Street Fighter 2 Champion Arcade Edition, whatever we're on now. Two fireballs, he'll be called God Tier. Be banned from the tournament scene. Again. Who came back into Street Fighter in Alpha, the Alpha, C, Alpha 2? Am I right? I'm sure. Oh, again, you badass. First Street Fighter character with changeable fighting styles, I seem to remember. Oh, again, you arse. So twitchy. What's that, what's that he's doing? Mantis, isn't it? Again, you're supposed, to, you're supposed to plant your face on the end of that dragon. Come on! Oh, again, you. Oh. Right, one more continue on again. <laughs> His big hook nose. Oh, well, at least we're on the high score table again. Right, one more. Um, uh, see if we can... Oh, God, I didn't mean to do that. You. It's twitchy. One more go on again. I'm quite, I'm quite, I'm quite enjoying this. <laughs> oh. Again, you <laughs> didn't even have a trousers down. Bloody hell! <laughs> Fucking you anymore, old man. <laughs> Did he block that first one? <laughs> didn't block that, did you, Gramps? Oh! Oh, how did he miss that dragon punch? 
Oh, God's sake, I'm going to leave it there. So, guys, that was uh, Street Fighter. The original arcade version. This has been the uh, uh, PlayStation 2 Capcom Collection uh, 2 uh, version of the game. But, you know, it's going to be the same whether you play it on uh, emulator or on, I think it's available on PSP um, but, but but it's worth a try you know you going back to your roots and seeing where the game started from uh, all that kind of thing and it it basically just makes you appreciate Street Fighter 2 a little bit which you know I'm very well may bring on the next video I might just uh, jump into Street Fighter 2 have a look at how that has aged maybe uh, Super Street Fighter or Champion Edition something along those lines um, so anyway guys thanks for tuning into the video uh, this is Tony here from Game Freak Blog signing out until the next time um, thanks for tuning in and watching and let me know in the comments if you what's your favourite street let's what's your favourite street fighter just for the sake of conversation what one do you like have you played this what did you think did you play the big arcade game whatever get in touch let me know cheers then guys take care catch you in the next video bye bye